Today, I am going to teach you how to build a no game pass house in Bloxburg. I'll walk you through it step by step and offer you some building tips. So we're gonna turn at the end of the video. Let's get started building first. So as you can see, game passes are off. So this is the layout that we'll be following today. For my layouts, I use the plain marking. Now you can't place this down without game passes. So I just place it down so you could see and understand what we're gonna be building. So you could screenshot it and then use it to follow along as we build. So let's actually start working on the build. So step one is placing pillars because you can't place pillars without game passes they don't go through the walls it's like no collisions you have to place the pillars first before you place the walls so we're gonna start four squares back like this and you're gonna place one of these rustic column pillars down so you're gonna color this pillar before we place the rest because if you color your items and then copy them you save money that way so if you're gonna reuse an item make sure you color it and then copy it so we're gonna use a linen and then we're gonna use the wood grain material I love that combo so if you want to change it up you can but this is what I wanted to do so now I'm gonna copy this pillar and and place another one three squares to the right and then one more two grids to the right like that so that's it for those rustic pillars now we're going to use the plain pillars which are super cheap really simple they look nice though so we're going to start where we left off with this rustic pillar we're going to go back one and then i'm just going to color it the same as these pillars so now you can place one back one and then to the right by two and then you're going to go back three we're placing it in each corner basically but i'll count it out for you if it's easier hopefully it is then you can go to the left by two and then to the left by two again then back one and then back two and then to the right two and then to the right by two and then up two i'll also explain all the rooms later and then you're gonna go back three to the left by three to the left by three again down three to the right by two to the right by one and then to the right by one again so now you have all the interior pillars placed so now we can like finish off the exterior pillars so go back to the start right here where the rustic pillars are you're gonna go to this left one right now and you're gonna go back by one and then back one again and then to the left by three and then up four and then up four one more time and that's it all the pillars are placed so now we can place the walls so once again we're starting two four five squares back we're gonna place two walls in between these two regular pillars we're gonna color the walls white with the planks material horizontal planks i love that combo the planks material they go with so many textures and so many colors so i love to use them quite often all right let's color the interior walls i like to use mid gray a lot so you can copy that wall now that it's colored we'll save some money that way we're gonna leave it white with the planks so you don't have to recolor it so now we're on the right side and we're gonna go back by one and then to the right by two and then back three back three again back two back three so you're just placing it in between each pillar really so to the left by three to the left by three we're gonna do the exterior walls first then we'll do the interior walls down three to the right by one. Oh, that's left whoops to the left by one down four down four <laughs> to the right by three and then down one so yeah exterior walls all finished see how you have to place the pillars before you place the walls yeah it's annoying right <laughs> anyway we can place the interior walls so let's start over here on this left pillar so just go back three and what you're gonna do is just recolor this white plank wall to the mid gray and then we have both sides colored mid gray or you can choose whatever wall color you want to do but we'll do this for now so go to the right by two and then to the right by two again back by one to the left by three so yeah you're just gonna place it in between each pillar if you have the pillars placed already like this it should be easy to do so just up two here to the right by two down three to the right by two up two to the right by two to the left by one to the left by one to the left by two down two and then three there that's it so all the walls and pillars are placed great right so this is gonna be the living room and like the entrance foyer kind of area this is a garage i didn't forget it this time <laughs> i do that sometimes whoops this is a hallway right here and then this is a kitchen and dining room bathroom bathroom bedroom bedroom so two bedrooms two bathrooms let me know if you want to see the interior video we're gonna focus on the exterior itself today so let me know if you guys want to see an interior video where i decorate the interior and of course it'll be like a tutorial like this video so moving on let's finish this off so we're gonna place the roof we're gonna use two different Different roofs throughout this build but it's easy i promise so we're gonna use a slanted roof first so what you're gonna do is go to the bottom left corner of your screen and where it says automatic placement you're gonna press on that and it's gonna turn to manual placement so you want to make sure that is on so we're gonna start at the left side of the house on this far left rustic pillar we're gonna place one down we're gonna go to the right by three then you're gonna go up two and then to the left by three like that and you can just place it down so now we're gonna color it dark stone gray with the metal roof material i love this combo a lot i use it often especially with my modern builds and then you're gonna color the sides the white with the planks material or whatever your wall color is so for my ceilings i like to use white with concrete a lot it's such a simple and easy combo yeah so that's it for the slanted roof so now we can grab the gable roof right here we're going to once again turn on manual placement and if you want to turn off your roof so you can see a little bit better you can so we're going to start in the center of the house so we're going to start on this left rustic pillar right here then you're going to go to the right by two and then back two to the right by two and then all the way back to the end of the house and then to the left by four and that's it 
so it's covering this right side of the house and then you could place it down and then color it the same as this roof and yeah that's it so you're gonna use that gable roof one more time once again you're gonna turn on manual placement and you could turn off the roof again to see a bit better so now we're gonna go to the left side of the house and we're gonna start at this pillar we're gonna go to the right by four back three and then to the left by four and then you're just gonna place it down and if you'd like to you could resize it a bit because it's cheaper so you save some more money and then yeah you're gonna place it down and it's all good so we're done with that roof now for the back of the house there's a giant hole in the roof which isn't good so you can take the gable roof and just fill it in like this very easy it is 350 dollars so if you want to save some money this is a little trick you can use a flat roof and place it down instead and look how cheap it is you save like 200 dollars so if you want to do that just recolor it and nobody will know no one's going to see that because that's why the gable roof is here it kind of blocks that out so i might do that <laughs> but if you don't want to just use the gable roof and we're finished with the roof so yeah looks really nice this is what we have so far now we can add more detail to this house and in doing so we're going to use the wall trim so we're going to start off by using the flat crown molding which basically goes at the top of your walls so what i like to do sometimes is color it to match the pillars so i color it the same as the pillars and then i place it obviously on each wall and you can place it at the sides as well if you'd like but if you want to save money you don't have to do this because like no one's gonna know no one's gonna see the sides in the back of your house unless they're like trying to break in next we can use a short round molding this is for the bottom part of your walls so i'm gonna color the top of it the brown and then the bottom part is gonna be white with the brick material and then once again just place that on each wall very nice the sides and the back as well if you want to do that if not just don't looks nice right now we can place the doors so for my front doors i love to use this traditional french door if you watch my videos you see me use this quite often i like to color it white and then gray a white doorknob and then like a seashell kind of hue for the windows i use this combo a lot for my modern builds and then for the garage door this is a garage by the way i think i completely forgot to mention that i'm sorry small roller garage door this is really cheap but if you want to use something with more detail you could use this traditional garage door or even this carriage garage door that looks nice or even this one i did not see that i honestly might use this garage door oh it's a bit expensive though if you want to save money though just use the first one i showed you the small roller garage door now we can grab a window so we're gonna place a standard window right here and we're gonna color it white with the seashell hue and then if you want you can grab a shutter so this classic shutter is great you can color the outside of it white with the smooth plastic and then the shutter itself could be like dark stone gray with the smooth plastic it matches everything else we've been using so yeah looking nice and modern so now we can grab some light so we can actually see a bit i love using these classic outdoor wall lamps sometimes i'll place it at like the top of my roof like this i love using yellow lighting so i'll use like cashmere or khaki brick yellow burlap i love using all these i think for this build i'm gonna use cashmere very nice and then if you want to add even more detail sometimes i do this i go to decorations and then i type in vent and then i grab one of these vents and then you could place it at the top of your roof like that color it like white or whatever just adds more detail a more realistic look i guess <laughs> so now we can grab the floor so this is for the driveway and the walkway you could basically just combine the two like this and then you could color them concrete so that they match the walkway but if you want to use a different texture you could use like these shingles they're obviously for the roof but who cares but i'm going to leave it as concrete for now so now you can place a fence around which will give even more detail so only certain fences are going to work with no game passes you see the hedge works really well so what you could do is extend this yard a bit i'm going to go out just a bit more so i'm going to grab the floor again and then place it like this like one strip <laughs> and then i'm going to color it to like whatever green you want to use with the grass material i'm probably going to use sage green i love that color so we're going to place like three more over here now we can grab the fence sometimes i like to alternate my fences to give it more detail so i'm probably going to use the picket fence right here i'll color it white and i'm going to place one right here at the top then i'm going to place another one here and another one here it's every other grid basically then i'm going to grab the small hedge because we know that works well with this build and we're going to place it in each empty square and then color it the sage green or whatever green you're using and then place it in each empty space like that but what you have to do is place the picket fence first otherwise it won't work because the picket fence does not collide with that fence so you have to place the picket fence first oh i'm in the way whoops and then the green hedge and then you're good it looks kind of cool next if you want to add even more detail you can use a plain shirt fence and then color it the same as pillars and basically outline the walkway and the driveway like this you can leave this area open it's not going to work and it's not going to work over here or over here either so here's an alternate i like to go to garden and i'll use like flower bushes where the fences won't go so i love to do this because it looks super nice anyway like i love 
love these flower brushes. I use them as often as I can in my builds. They're so pretty. And then if you want to place them a certain way, you can change grid sizes, move them closer or farther away from the pillars. You could use some cheap bushes and grass. Those are affordable. So stuff like that will just fill in that empty space and replace fences. And then you could just place some like grass around, some flowers, whatever cheap plants you want to use. If you want to save money, I'm always trying to save money. So I'm always working on like five different builds at once. I have three in progress right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then I like to place some flowers around because who doesn't love flowers? Makes your build more lively too. Oh, if you don't have the gardening skills unlocked for these flowers or plants, you don't have to use them either. Don't feel obligated to do that. There's a lot of plants that you can use that don't require any gardening skills. So you could use a bunch of these. They look very nice. If not, you could just garden a bit and then level up and unlock those trees and bushes and plants. Sometimes I also will place trees in the corners of my plots because I like to take up that like empty space back here. Lots of you probably have this tree unlocked. This is a good tree to use. We could place it in this corner. So get it as close to the corner as possible. It gives us build more life. If you want to add even more detail, what you could do is place some stepping stones. I color them usually the colors of the build. So in this case, I'm probably going to use dark stone gray because we've been using that often. So then you can place one in front of these two and then another two and then one, two, one, alternate it like this. I love to use this little design and then it goes all the way up to the front door. And then if you want to do the same thing over here, you could use the rectangular stepping stones and place like two down and then place it like every other grid. Yeah, something simple. Leave the material the way it is or change it to concrete. It really doesn't matter. If you want to add some more light over here because it's a bit dim, you could place another light on that pillar. And yeah, this is pretty much the exterior of our house. And I think it looks really nice. So let's go tour. So the total value is about $10,000, a bit more, especially if you place the wall trims on the sides in the back of the house like I did. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't do that, definitely gonna save some money. This is our no game pass modern house. Very cheap, very cute and simple, right? Great starter house, like I said. Love these plants, it makes it look so lively. And the colors together, I love them. Yeah, I love no game pass homes. They're so fun to make, they're so cute. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys were able to like take some tips or anything <laughs> to help you build. Yeah, so if you guys would like to see me decorate the interior, I'll obviously walk you through that as well. Just comment below and I'll have that out in the next few days or so. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, kitchen, living room, dining area. Like I said, I'm happy with this build. I hope you guys are as well. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had fun building and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!